Good morning, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Saturday to you all. I am not sure. <laughs> I look a hot mess, I know. And you guys, unfortunately, get to see me look a hot mess a lot of the time. Um, the, all the noise you can hear, the roofers were here at 6 o'clock this morning. It's now... It's now 8 o'clock and... Um, I'm just hoping that they're gonna be done before our friends come over this evening. We were hoping that all of this was gonna be done, house painted and everything before today. But you know, we have to work on other people's time sometime. I'm sitting here, well not really sitting here, I'm actually trying to clean my house, trying to do all kinds of stuff. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start a vlog, see how much of it I can vlog today. But I am trying to clean and I'm watching, you know, the royal wedding. And you know, I have to say, I'm not really into this whole, like, I don't, I really don't buy into the whole queen and king and princes and <laughs> royalty of England. I, I feel that we just have, we, we put a lot of, a lot into all of that. And um, I don't know why. But I will say that I was very pleased this morning to see the little touches that were added to this wedding today to make uh, the two uh, families blend, if you will, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, I'm not a person that really, you know, I'm not really big on people making a difference because I really feel like we are all God's people and we all bleed the same color blood. And it is true that we are all, I mean, you know, we come from different walks of life and it, we need to be able to celebrate who we are from within and feel comfortable of celebrating who we are from within. So, you know, hearing stand by me this morning, I was like, yes, yes. And then, you know, a few minutes later hearing, um, this little light of mine uh that was a song my daddy used to sing in church and um needless to say that one brought a little, few little tears to my eyes because it gave me some memories of my childhood and hearing my dad sing but you know that that did something for me because i felt like that was necessary um you know just to blend those two families together it's kind of like when my son and my daughter-in-law got married and uh you know she being half Hispanic, half white, my son being black, they combined their heritage together to form their wedding. So they had a little jumping up the broom ceremony, you know, things like that. So I just think, you know, I love, I love people uniting and being one. Love is beautiful. And so I love it even more when you're able to recognize and to celebrate who you are like that is so important to me um and so i don't know i kind of you know i was impressed with this i really was and so i gotta get back to cleaning now unless y'all gonna come over and help me clean now if y'all gonna come over and help me clean we will vlog all dang day <laughs> yep i'm looking a hot mess y'all got my pjs on looking a hot mess up in here <laughs> all righty it's been a while several hours since i last chatted with you all but we're trying to pull things together in the backyard. It's not gonna be as great of an event as far as everything being together as we had hoped because we have the roof, but the house isn't painted. And you know, we still got things kind of a little bit, you know, not so organized, but that's okay. We're, okay, I was gonna say, yeah. Please, <laughs> yeah. So, I just wanted to share with you all a little bit of this grilling that's going on. Now, this is what you call good eating. Sir, tell us how, how, do, how is it that you're able to do all of this? Pit master. Oh, you're a pit master. Is that anything similar to grill master? No. Nothing similar? You just called a pit master. And who gave you that title, sir? I did. You gave yourself that title, huh? I did. Oh, okay, okay. From well, my father. Oh, you learned it from your father? He's also a pit master. He gets it from his daddy. <laughs> His daddy was also a pit master. Hold on, hold on, let me get a picture of it. Not everybody can barbecue, they think Wait, they can. Wait, oh, I put, took that up for one second. I ain't done, I ain't got the sausage though through yet. Yeah. All right, y'all, y'all heard it from the pit master himself. He is, well, how shall I say it? Is he doing the what? The darn thing? I think he might be. Now I have to give the man credit. He loves cooking on the grill. Cooking in general. I, he's, this is his element, truly his element. Hence why I'm so fat. He is having a field day right there. Look at him. Just a working. 
But I must get back in the house because I got things I got to do. Where there's no smoke, there's no barbecue. Y'all heard it from him. Hence I mean, being... I don't mean from no gas grill either. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. He's speaking to yell about the gas grill now. Go ahead and tell us how you feel about a gas grill, sir. For, for people that don't know how to barbecue. Oh. That's why. He's very anti-gas grill. Although there is one on our patio. It is used for emergency purposes. For emergency. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that's what it is. That is going to be something else. The golfers are out there golfing. Let me see if I can't zoom y'all in a little bit. Y'all see them way out there? Right there. There's some coming over here. Like I said, they roll right by our backyard. Yep. You show them the babies? Oh, yes. I guess I could show y'all the babies. We got some pretty little babies here. Look, oh, oh my goodness. Don't you fall out of there, baby. Oh. Look, good day. Let me see if I can't zoom y'all in. Can y'all see the little babies? Oh, they're just so precious. Aww. We have all kinds of wildlife. I think I mentioned that to y'all before. We have squirrels, we have rabbits, we have turtles, we have <laughs> baby birds. It's just, you know, being this used to be a lot more, like actually where our house sit right now, it used to be trees here. And, uh, you know, they came in and they bulldozed it all down and they started to build houses. But a few years back, this was where the deer lived and so the wildlife you know some of them never left they just you know they hide out wherever they can and so and the noise that you're hearing are the little baby birds they think it's time to, to eat in fact i think they thought i was getting ready to feed them so they got excited but uh that's up for mama to do and mama bird will be by here pretty soon to give them some food but yeah so we just kind of enjoy this wildlife there's the patio there. But I need to get my bum bum back in the house because I'm on a tight schedule. Okay, go turn around. Go get a kid. Go get Looks like a kid. water balloon <laughs> fight is going on. Oh, he's got moves. He's got juice. Kids are having a blast. Happy day. Go get Timmy. <laughs> Y'all gotta spread out. Spread out. Spread out. Oh, no more. <laughs> Look up. Oh, your job. There's no more. <laughs> that was good. You see how she walked away? Like, <laughs> gotcha. Go get Timmy. Get him. Get Timmy. Get Leo. Get him. Run, dude. Run. run. <laughs> They go through them all that fast. <laughs> yep. I hope you bought a lot, Terrell. Oh, there's a bunch. Okay. <laughs> you threw up a little. And then you took it down and sprayed some of the bugs. Go well. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Chicka Pies. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Happy Monday. Okay, my apologies. I sucked at vlogging this weekend. Um, I had the barbecue, which was awesome. I started out that morning, I was like, I'm going to vlog, you know. And then there's just a small amount of footage from that. Um, I will include it at the end of this video, just, you know, because, like I said, it's such a small amount. But... You know, we just got wrapped up with doing family things and the kiddos and, you know, I'm going to say this because, shoot, I just wasted my juice. Uh, I should have said it in the whole cup. Older. I'm going to say this. This is actually juice in here, not coffee this morning. I don't know, I didn't want coffee this morning. Y'all know I get that way sometimes. 
So on Saturday we had the barbecue and um, it was a lot of kids. Um, a lot of beautiful kids. Like just, you know, from tiny, tiny to like I just was born to um, I think the oldest one was probably seven. And, uh, you know, it's just so beautiful to see kids play. Um, as you all know, we back up to a golf course. And so in a child's mind, we have the bestest backyard ever. <laughs> so, um, okay, sweetheart, what are you doing? Um, so anyway, um, so we, you know, one of my son's friends, him and his wife has four little ones. And they're, I mean, he went to school with my son. I'm like, oh, sweetie, you and your wife was busy <laughs> having babies. But all very well-mannered children. I mean, like, just, I mean, take your breath away because they're just such awesome children. And um, so it was just great. Uh, but the greatest of all was at some point I looked around and all the moms were kind of sitting around, uh, you know, chatting with each other and all the dads, all the dads were out in in the yard or on the golf course actually. But, um, and they were playing with the kids from flying a kite to uh, balloon fights and that is a beautiful sight to see. I love to see fathers interact with their children to that magnitude. Like you, I mean, you know, and and I'm not saying that this was all my, like, well, I'm not saying everybody was like this, but when I had my son, and it could have been more or less because we were the military environment, I don't know. But it was always the moms out there doing all of that and the dads were sitting around drinking beer or whatever, you know. And so it was just beautiful to see. Like I was just like, this is awesome. I love this generation. I love to see these fathers out here being interactive with their children and allowing moms to kind of just enjoy other moms and have, you know, just chat time. And you don't, uh, I don't know, it was just beautiful. and. I just, you know, to any of the young parents out there, uh, fathers especially, that you fit into this category, that when you go to an event, and and don't get me wrong, don't mistake this, y'all, but not that you're, I don't want to, the ones that are just doing it for the, for the camera, but, you know, like the YouTube subscriber ones, uh, not subscribers, but um, YouTubers that, you know, I, I'm talking real fathers that go out, and they're not, um, and I'm not saying that only, that that's just that you're doing that only because you're on YouTube but you know what I'm saying I do know that I'm not I'm not foolish y'all I know that a lot of things we see on YouTube aren't as they seem so they're not as plain you know as perfect picture perfect as they seem so um, I'm seeing the ones the fathers that really really truly go out and play with their children when nobody's watching or they're you know they're just actually being involved uh, in the allowing the moms that time to sit back and enjoy themselves and I think this might be a little bit more happening in this generation right now the the 30 year olds um, because that's the age group that my son is you know that I guess I want to say between 28 and and 38 like um, or 35 probably I don't know but I like that and I want to commend all the fathers that do that um, but yeah it was just beautiful to watch and see I, I know I can say it a thousand times, but it was just, oh, it was just awesome, so. And then yesterday, y'all, okay. I, uh, I was up to three o'clock in the morning. I had to wash the dishes, clean up the kitchen after everyone had left. And then I got up yesterday morning really early. Um, James's kids were leaving to head back home to Houston. And uh, we met them, we took them to breakfast, and then they headed off to Houston. We came back home, and I was just, you know, I, like, I was like, okay, I have to clean my bedroom. I have, because it ended up on Saturday, like I literally could not, I didn't have time to finish. I got everything out of the living room. And then I was exhausted. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm running out of time. 
And so I, at that point, and then I just said, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna shut off my bedroom because I had laundry going, I had, you know, and I thought I would be working faster than I was, but you know, it's something, I don't know. I was just, I was just being like slow moving or whatever, so. So my bedroom door was closed off. So everything that I didn't finish on Saturday, I was gonna do on Sunday. Uh, I came back and I laid in the bed because I was like, okay, I'm gonna take like a, you know, maybe an hour nap. And I don't typically get back in the bed, but I was just like, I'm gonna get in the bed. Like I, I wanna lay back down. Cause I was up at like seven and I woke and I went to bed at like three. So, you know, I didn't get a lot of sleep. Well, I woke up and it had been, I think, an hour and a half. And I just still just felt so groggy and so tired. So I said, okay, I'm gonna lay here for a few minutes longer. I lay in bed all day. I slept in and out. Um, I got up and made myself some lunch and I fell back to sleep. I got up and made myself. And when I say dinner, I'm not talking like no real food, y'all. I had, I had uh, like, leftovers for lunch and basically leftovers for dinner too like I just ate what we had on Saturday so I didn't get up and make like a real meal or anything and now I'm just like I feel rested but like I'm like oh my god I have a lot to do today my girlfriend will be here on Wednesday like at 6 30 so like whatever I don't get done on Tuesday I I mean like you know it's not gonna get done my car needs to be vacuumed out um, really bad so I'm gonna vacuum my car out probably that I don't know tomorrow evening probably but this evening my goal is to get all my clothes put away in my room vacuum my room up real good um, of course you know my room is not the best and she's not gonna be hanging out in my bedroom but I just don't want to be like having to close my bedroom door because it looks like a pigsty in there so I've got to get her room cleaned up. Um, I've got to change the sheets because, you know, someone slept in the bed on Saturday. So I have to change the sheet. All right, chicken pie. So I'm on my way home. I apologize for the abrupt cutoff this morning, but my SIM, SIM card filled up. And of course, you know, I was driving. And then when I got to my little spot, I was able to delete some of the footage that I had already used or knew I, that I didn't need anymore. But then it was time for me to go. So. I'm actually headed home now. I'm ready to, I, I'm trying to decide if I wanna to go to the gym or not. Um, I really should go to the gym, but at the same time, I also know that I really need to take care of my bedroom. So I'm not real sure. I got today and tomorrow, y'all. So what should I do? What should I do? But uh, yeah, so anyway, um, that's what's going on right now. I just kinda of wanted to fill you guys in on that. Um, no, like I'm trying to think like I'm trying to come up with some things to do while my friend is here so um, if you guys want us to do a video together comment below and let me know I'm kind of thinking about doing a video um, like how well do we know each other like you know like because we haven't seen each other in so long like from then to now type of a video I don't know like I'm not sure how to put it together like but I also don't know if she's gonna want to be on camera or not either so I'm gonna ask her and if she is okay with it comment below and tell me if you guys think we should do a video together if you'd like to see me do a video with her and like if I did like a video of like how well we know each other um, type of thing so I don't know um, and if I if I'm gonna do that I need to come up with some questions because I'm like oh gosh you know like um, I don't know so but anyway, so comment below and let me know that. And um, I actually think I'm gonna get off for now and just kind of ride and just kind of like, you know, get myself in the frame of mind of just uh, being home and seeing what I need to do. Because like I said, I do have a lot to do today. And uh, yeah, so I will talk to you guys. All right, Chica Pies, so I have made it home and I am going to the gym. I'm gonna eat my dinner real quick. I actually walked in and went straight to my room and started like, you know, gathering up stuff. Um, because I have clothes piles from when I did the laundry and I didn't have time to put the clothes away. So I have like these piles of clothes. I had a dirty pile that somehow another got mixed in. So now I gotta go through that. But um, I'm gonna get that room done tonight before I go to bed. So it is what it is. 
I'm going to the gym, coming back, and then I'm gonna finish that room. So I'm gonna be exhausted again tomorrow. I still, I just don't feel good. My throat's hurting. I can't breathe. Um, you know, I, I know it's allergies. I'm, well, I think it's kind of like a mixture of allergies and cold, but I'm gonna take a cold sinus here in a few minutes and see if that kind of helps me. But I felt really bad all day at work today. So, um, but yeah, so this is my dinner. I have a nice salad that's got some mushrooms in it. I don't know what else is in there. I'm trying to see kale. some kale. Oh, you got kale today? I've always had kale. Um, um, are those banana peppers or, or oh, that's just the yellow pepper, peppers and egg, I think, pepper jack cheese, and I don't know what else is in there, but yeah, so that is my dinner for tonight. And I might, it looks like after the gym, they have a little bit of a super phone ring in. So that is my din din. So but I am probably gonna go ahead and close out this vlog because I don't know that I'm gonna have a whole lot of time this evening. Um, might be able to vlog my gym experience, um, but of course, you know, that'll be on my cell phone and that'll be like a whole different um, video that goes up. I still have the one from a few weeks ago that I haven't put up yet either, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, We'll see. I've got another little routine that I've been doing like really good. And so that's probably what I'll do tonight because I think we're getting in the pool again, I think. But um, yeah, so I'm going to eat my dinner and go about my evening. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you guys in my very next vlog. Mwah.